Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi everybody, this is Amy. I'm here at Fusion Pilates and we're going to look at an exercise in Ann McMillan's Deep Core Cross Chains that's on our EDU website. This is a great workshop. It's chock full of really interesting and creative ways to activate the deep core body. So she's doing a variation on a bridge here with two red springs and you're going to have your feet in straps. And there's a nice um, lengthening of the hamstrings at the very beginning of this. So the feet are uh, lengthened out, and actually the straps are behind the knees, which is what makes this so nice and assisted. So we're going to reach the legs out long. The feet are slightly apart. And then you lengthen through the legs to stretch the hamstrings. Keep the back of the pelvis heavy. The legs reach into the loops, into the resistance, the knees bend, and you find the outer rails of the carriage. And then from here, I'm gonna float up into a neutral bridge. You could also do an articulated bridge, but I like this because I feel the tension of the straps reaching into my hamstrings. I can feel my hamstrings activating. And then you could either roll down or just lengthen in one piece back to the mat. You pick up more of the tension on the straps to float the feet up and then just reach the legs back into that hamstring stretch. So you can do this several times just to prep the spine, open the hamstrings, get things going. And then she adds this wonderful rotation to the exercise that also is really nice to have the feedback of the straps and the loops. So to bring this into rotation, the pelvis floats up and then having this um, connection and feedback of the spring, as I rotate my pelvis to one side, I lose tension on one strap, but I pick it up in the other. So it's really easy for me to feel that knee reaching out over the foot, keeping the pelvis square. And then I have to engage my deep core cross chain to float the pelvis back to neutral. And then the other side rotates. I pick up more resistance on the opposite side leg. I can feel that hamstring reaching into the strap and then I center the pelvis. You can roll back down, pick up the tension on the straps, reach the legs and float them back for that nice beautiful stretch. So this is a great way to work the bridge for clients um, who don't like or don't tolerate the a more traditional bridge on the foot bar. You've got a lower floor and you also have the support and assistance of the springs and the straps. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.